Hey everybody, Mr. Berg here, and this is a short video showing you how to get into Google Drawings and then how to use the different tools that we're going to use. All right, first thing you need to do, open up a new tab and go to your Google Drive, which is in your Google Apps, the nine dots up here in top right. Go to your drive. Once you are in Google Drive, you are going to go to the colorful plus sign and the new button. Click on that and go down to more. Now, if you don't see more right away, you just have to finish letting your drive load and then go over to Google Drawings. And here we are. Now, Google Drawings has some really cool features. It's not really expansive or in depth, but it allows you to do some pretty cool things. So the tools that we're going to use are the select tool. It's this arrow right here. You can use the line for different things. There's different types of lines, but we're not using that specifically. You can play around with that if you want. We are going to be using the shapes tool, specifically the circle right there. And you'll also notice that when you click on the circle and drag a circle, it's an oval. If you hold down your shift key, it makes it a circle. And now once I let go of my mouse, there's my circle, okay? And you'll see what pops up here is the color fill or fill color tool. That allows you to change the color inside of your circle. Cool thing about this, you can also go down to custom and the plus sign and click and drag and add all sorts of different colors. You can create subtle changes and different values. You can also change the transparency, which is pretty cool. You can make use of that. Next to the fill color is the border color. This is what color the border is around your shape. Let's say you want it to be bright pink. There we go. You can see it, but it's pretty thin. So next to the border color is the border weight. You can pick different pixel amounts which will create different size borders. Okay, for the most part, those are the different tools we're gonna to use. Select, shapes, fill color, border color, and border weight. Now, you can always click and drag to resize your project. Okay, I'm also gonna show you how to use a range. So let's grab another circle here. Click and drag it. I wanna keep it a circle, so I'm gonna hold down shift. Makes it a circle. And it makes it the exact same. Now, I could change that one into, let's say, kind of this weird color here. And my border is going to be gray. Cool. Now, if I want this uh, kind of greenish blue and pink circle to be in front of my gray and yellow one, there's two ways you can do this. The first is going up to Arrange. Well, first off, I guess my, my yellow and gray one is selected right now. So if I go to Arrange, Order, send backward or send to back, and that's gonna put it behind your other one. And notice my transparency is still there, so I can still see through it a bit. That's pretty cool. Now, you could also right click on the shape and go to order and bring to front or bring forward. Okay, the difference between bring to front and bring forward or send to back or send backwards is how many shapes you have. If you bring to front or send to back, that will put it behind everything else. But whereas if you just say send backward, it'll put it behind the most recent object. Okay, let's say I want a bunch more of these yellow and gray circles. I'm going to hold down control on my keyboard and press C to copy it. And I'm going to hold down control and V to paste it. You'll notice, wow, I just pasted three more that are all, oh, now I can adjust that and change it. But they're all identical because I copy and pasted them. You'll notice that because I'm not holding on my shift key, those ones changed into ovals. If I hold down my shift key, it'll stay a circle and I can move things around. Okay, cool thing about the Google Drawings is that it always automatically saves into your Google Drive. I am going to title this 100 Circles because that's the project we're doing. And um, yeah, that's pretty. Oh, let's say you wanted a different background color on all this. Here's the best way to do that. We're gonna go up here and go to shapes and choose like the rectangular square. I'm gonna pull a shape over my whole canvas. Boom. Oh no, it's on top. Well, first off, let's change the color to something I want. Let's say I wanted to have a real dark gray background and no border. So I'm gonna go up to my border and click transparent and put my border down to one. So now there's really no border, but it's still in front. Right click, order, send to back. And that's gonna put it behind all my other shapes. Bingo. Now, as long as you're on that select tool, you can always go back and change the color of something. Uh, you just have to be selected on that certain uh, certain shape. There we go. That's a very quick run through of how to use Google Drawings to make shapes.
See ya.